what I filmed here is for Mary to see. What I've done is I've used her X pens to be able to make Pokey's world smaller. He still has a little bit of area to run around, but he, uh, we still, I am, in uh, controlling the environment. I'm not controlling him, but I'm controlling the environment. So when he has the whole yard, I have no way to control the environment. I can't keep him on a leash. He's running around. He can control whether or not he comes in or not. Now, by having the X pens up and forming um, a little play area, like I'm showing you here, you can see that he is safe. He has a small play area, so we can still play a little bit of ball, but I have control over where he goes. So therefore, I am in control. So, last time we did this, he had a little time outside, and he came in the first time I asked him. So, and we'll see how he does this time. Anyway, it's a very warm day, so I'm sure they won't be spending too much time outside. Pokey's out here with his friend Ruffy. Ruffy's just downing some cold water, um, refreshing water. I put these other bits of X pen in the bed because Emmy was digging in there, so I just put them at, a, at an angle. I'll leave those in there so that um, Mary can tell that there was something going on there. This also prevents the dogs from charging at the uh, fence when people walk by. So again, we take charge of the area, we take charge of the environment, and uh, don't allow the dogs to be making decisions that are not theirs to make. So it's very cool. So we'll see how much they enjoy this area. It's kind of fun to be outside and we can we can do tricks with them, we can play a little bit of ball, not a terrible amount of running around, but it's a hot day. They're smart enough to figure out that running around isn't a good idea on a hot day. Anyway, that's controlling the environment rather than controlling the dogs.